glory. If it's void of God and its glory. What's the word of the word? Peace on earth. If it's not rooted in truth of Christ's birth, what's the benefit to us to discuss the joy of the season unless we fit our hearts and and mind us the principal reason that Christ was atoned to die for us. See, Christmas is just more than a story of a baby born in a manger. More than a poor fiancé or engaged to a humble virgin teenager. More than the magi, more than gold, frankincense and mare. It's more than a narrative of a nativity story. Hallelujah. It's so much more than that. It's the coming of the Messiah, the fulfillment of the Old Testament promises. The prophecy of the suffering servant and all the accomplishments. Yes. The second person in the Trinity commissioned to abandon his position and literally set aside the independent exercise of the attributes full of submission. The word manifested in flesh, the fullness of God expressed. The self-emptying Jesus poured out his father's request. The image of the invisible God, the radiance of the father's fame. Holy, but retained his humanness to empathize with our pain. He was unjustly crucified, chastised, cursed, and shamed, mocked and atoned, adorned with a crown of thorns, disgraced, but yet he still faced the grave. The fulfilled the Father's will, he came and to die, to take the place of sinful men, and receive the full fury of God's judgment upon himself instead. The most monumental mark for mankind made in human history. Wretched sinners being made righteous only by the wounds of the risen king. The condescending holy God made in the likeness of man. A child born by the Savior that would save the world from their sins. The offspring of a virgin's womb. The Christ, God's own son. Fully God, yes, fully man and only the therapeutic one. This is what we celebrate, my brothers and sisters. Christ, the newborn king, veiled in flesh, Godhead, hell incarnate God.